Oh, we were almost like brother and sister, and yeah. it would almost be like incest. <laughs> so we just never went there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> For some more of Dylan's interview with the duo, be sure to watch Megan Kelly today coming up in the next hour. And that's your pop star. All right, cool. now, yes? I'm going to wait one second. Oh, yes. Because oh. we're going to talk to Miles here about yes, the reason Miles. he's actually here. He did not come here, believe it or not, to <laughs> <laughs> participate in trending. He's got a great new movie out called Thank You for Your Service, story of a serviceman who comes back and tries to integrate back you, into life as a civilian. Mm -hmm. physician and psychiatrist. And I just want to talk to you about this because you say it's the toughest movie oh, you've it? ever made. Why? Yeah, well, I just think it's, you know, it's tough to, to get into the skin of, uh, you know, the mind and the soul of a, a guy who's coming back from three deployments, you know, spent a thousand days in combat, in country, and, you know, the, the war that the infantry is fighting and, you know, the Marines, it's different than some of my friends are, you know, special forces guys, and it's just a different type of person, you know, these guys are coming from very specific parts of the country, uh, you know, lower income housing. Uh, and it's and, and it's tough, and they get thrown right to the front lines, um, and the stuff that they're the trauma that they're having to experience every day, and to be in that mindset of war every day, and then to come back, and there's no reintegration program. You know, you go right from the battlefield to back at home, and I, you know, that that contrast to me, these guys come come back with so much bottled up, and they just can't, they don't have the vocabulary or the tools mm -hmm. to express it, and I just really feel for, you know, that that person. So how did you prepare? Did you talk? Try to talk to veterans and and really understand where they're coming from. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I kind of I tackled it in a, a couple different ways. I had um, the two books that David Finkel wrote, "Good Soldiers" and "Thank You for Your Service," and both of those are very uh, really give you kind of a point of view on the war. And uh, he embedded himself and lived with these guys when they came back and stayed in their homes for nine months when they're in the you know the red zone those first couple months home. And I watched a lot of uh, YouTube uh, interviews with guys coming back. I uh, watched this documentary Restrepo, mm -hmm. and then and then met with uh, Adam and this the soldier I played and talked with vets and just tried to get as much as I could, could because it's a very vulnerable position to be you know mm -hmm. acting like you've you've been through that. Yeah. Can we say congratulations on another note? What? You'll be engaged. Oh yeah. Right. <laughs> you got yeah. a dog. You have everything. And you know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. You got, got a dog. I did Wait, trending got topics. Got yeah. got yeah. got Wait a minute. It was her birthday a week ago. Oh, oh, can we say yeah. another thing that oh, we got? Oh my God. <laughs> you dressed yes. the dog up. You, you yes. talked about your parents. Uh, yeah. And we just heard something cool that you did. You, you paid off their house. Oh, uh, yeah. I paid off their mortgage. Oh, yeah, that was pretty a, cool. Just a cool They guy. set it on fire. We had some champagne. And nice. it was like, yeah, yeah that's uh, Sweet. that's what it's all about, man. They sacrificed everything for me. So. Yeah. That's all around good. They guy. gave you that good advice. Yeah. Now you, you paid them back for it. Yeah. Now I'm dressing my dog up in dresses. <laughs> yeah. Look at me now, Mom. I'm so proud. Look at me now. Nothing we haven't tried around here. Uh, Miles, great to see you. Congratulations on all of it, including the new film. Thank, Thank you, you for your service. It's from our sister company, Universal Pictures, and it opens up on Friday. It's good, good sport. Thank yes. you. Yes. Alice, sure. do the weather. Unless Miles wants to. <laughs> yeah, let's just do it. We, we're doing all of it today. Yeah. This is going to be. We got be... some rain, some sun, some wind. You're a morning person, aren't you? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> That's what's going on around the country. Here's what's happening in your neck of the woods. And that's your latest weather. Matt? Uh, now, thank you very much. Now more of our special series, Sisterhood, celebrating that unique bond. It's the focus of Jenna and her sister Barbara's new memoir, Sisters First, stories from our wild and wonderful life. And we've just Aww. been enjoying this so much, Jenna. Yes. Thanks, guys. It's been so fun to be able to share stories from our childhood growing up with my precious sister Barbara and the special bond we have as sisters. And we hope we, our stories inspire all women. <laughs> From the moment I was born, I had this person who lifted me up. Barbara has a huge heart. She was the type of kid that looked after everybody else in our class and wanted to make sure that everybody was taken care of. She's gentle, she's creative, she's a great artist. 